Hey everybody, how's it going today? We are going to be playing some Fafnir. And we're up against a Neath. What do you know? Uh, yeah, no, uh, I am playing Fafnir because there was a guy that came into my stream with the username, uh, one with the dragon 99 and they donated for a Fafnir game, but I was just about to swap games because I was playing Smite. Whoa. Uh, and I was going to swap to play Dark Alliance. It's a new game. And it's pretty fun, but uh, I promised him I would record a YouTube full gameplay, and he said that was fine. So here we are. We're going to be doing this. Uh, I'm going to go get Blink, and against a Neath, we can do this. This is this this can work out fine. I feel like uh, Fafner does do better against squishy gods, like Neath. He doesn't do too well against tanky gods. Uh, actually, this is epic. this is the second attempt. You know, full disclosure, I, I just lost to a chalk. And I was doing good, and then, I don't know, I, I, I threw at the end, and I was like, no, no, this was terrible for YouTube. Not, I'm not, for my Fafner, you know what I mean? It's terrible, it's terrible. I could do way better. So, so it hurts when I throw like that, you know? Sometimes I have time to try to record some more games. Sometimes I don't, but that's okay. All right. We need to see what this Neath is building. Also, on Fafner... We play the early game super safe, like super, 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 super safe, uh, because he's all about that late game. Um, so because of that, we will naturally, slowly but surely, fall behind. But it's not the end of the world. Ooh, I really needed to hit that minion actually. Your tower is under Keep, we'll use our two for some healing. Uh, looks like she's only going to take that red buff, which is good. I think it would have been worse for us if she decided to take uh, more buffs. It's unfortunate that that hit us. Man, clearing the wave is Fafnir against Neath sucks. Especially when she's got mannequins. Uh, when she hits level 5, I'm going to have to dip. I'm losing a lot of gold, but hey, Fafnir again. Early game's unfortunate. Early game's bad. And Neath's early game's really good. So if we can survive the early game, I think we'll be okay. Okay, I got my ultimate, which is good. Oh, also I had a correction to make on my last video, the Horus video. I mentioned that Hydra's Lament does work on Horus 1, and I think I'm actually wrong about that. Because a commenter pointed out that Hydra's Lament, it says that it does not work on abilities that count as an auto attack, which is so weird. I don't remember it having that <laughs> that change, but yeah, apparently it's a thing. So I think I think it does not work with Horus One, and I am mistaken about that. Uh, it's just you know, there's all these things I know about Smite, but if they're they're, they're always changing things, so sometimes I. I miss a change and then I have it wrong in my head forever, you know? So appreciate appreciate that correction. If I'm ever wrong about, about something, feel free to correct me, you guys. Now, if I had a little bit more damage when she backflips, it's the perfect opportunity to leap on her and try to kill her. But for now, we just play it safe. We're attempting to clear the wave safely. Kind of all we can do. I might have to back again. I don't like backing so much, but I really am not given a choice until I finish my Bancrofts. Once I finish my Bancrofts, I can go for more aggressive plays because, you know, I'll have a bunch of power at low health and it'll give me the ability to kill my opponent. But until then, gotta play it safe, gotta back, you know. Again, after very bad early game. But he shines in the late. All right, looks like she's going Transcendence. She probably has finished it already. Uh, we'll need to see what item she gets after that. No, she has not finished it yet. Gotcha. We're in a very weird spot here, but I think it's okay. Because our hammer will come up. Yeah, this is fine. Just juke. <laughs> Just juke it all, honestly. Our Signs of Time is amazing on Fafnir because he's very, very mana hungry. And it pretty much... I never run out of mana with Signs of Time, so... Well, I should say almost never. That was terrible of me. That's alright. 
Keep in mind, I do not have... Wow, she really likes pushing instead of going for buffs. I think that is good for me, though. Um, I do not have... Oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I've had a long day today. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. I'm probably something like I don't have the opportunity to kill her yet. I will soon. Like even now, I can't. Oh, but she did use her escape. But I don't have my hammer. When we get into the late game, whenever she leaps, that'll be a death sentence for her. Like, I will almost be able to guarantee kill her every time she does that. She's actually doing a ton of damage to my tower. I need blue buff. Losing tower is not the end of the world. Losing phoenix is. <laughs> Alright, I can get Bancroft as well, but let's go click wave first. Pop our mana potion too. Just because, uh, might as well use it, right? I've got two of them. All right, let's go for red buff. Looking for deep this down, that's all good. What about her speed? Oh, she took that as well. Okay. No, she is taking more buffs than I uh, anticipated. I thought she was just in lane for the most of the game. All right, we're going to go breast... No, not breast plate. We're going to go Empress. Because our starter item is going to give 20% cooldown. And then our power potion is going to give 10%. And with breast plate, we'll be overkept. That's okay. Empress is more for when I'm diving her and defending. It is also for when defending, but mostly when I'm diving her, quite honestly. I might try to go for a kill here. There we go. I was able to get that because she leaped for, you know, when she shouldn't have. And we're pretty much going to do that most of the game. As Fafnir, if you get a kill in duel, uh, just de-transform right away. That way you get your ultimate that much faster. It's always good to do. Because all of my kill potential, all of it, comes from my ultimate. Very rarely will you get kills on Fafnir without your ult uh, in duel. Very, very rarely. <clears throat> All right, let's back off. Upgrade our items. Looks like she's getting an Ichabol, which is very good. Uh, I, I personally think Ichabol is too strong. Because in reality, I feel like it should be an item to counter auto attack characters as an auto attack character. But the reality of the matter is it's built on almost every hunter, almost every game, no matter who you're against. Because the attack speed reduction doesn't matter as much as the amount of power it gives. That's okay. It's not as strong as it used to be, so I can't really complain, can I? If she leaps here, I might go into her tower. If she doesn't, then we don't go into her tower. Simple as that. Oh, I'm going to save my second relic as well. She slowed. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome. That's so good that I can do that. Uh, I think she will learn now. Not to use her backflip unless she absolutely needs it. Because if her backflip's up when I ult, that's when she can actually get away. If it's not, I'm going to get a kill most of the time. Uh, I'm not going to detransform right away. I mean, I'm going to detransform when the timer runs out. But not right away, just because we do get more tower damage with it. Her ultimate's down, so I can take this. Although now I'm going to run. Good stuff, good stuff. I will finish Emperors because it'll help us take Phoenix and defend our Phoenix. So let's get that. It's a very strong item. 60 physical defense, 250 health. Very, really good stats. Next, we can go either a Spear of the Mages or a Divine Ruin. And I kind of want Sunder. Sunder's just good in general. 
Beads would also be a good option. Uh, just because of Neath CC. Alright, we can go for our blue buff. Get more XP and gold. Uh, we are at the point where I'm no longer, like, super weak. Uh, so we can, you know, we've been fighting more. We actually can kill her. Uh, just all that good stuff. So that's that's always good. I would say up until like seven, eight minutes. Uh, it's hard to put an exact number on it. Uh, Thafter is just pretty much struggling with everything. Like even now we kind of struggle with the wave, but that's okay. Oh, fun fact about Fafner, you see his pocket uh, with the gold pouch. It glows the more gold he has up until a thousand gold, so, which is his passive, right? Because he gets more protections the more gold he has. But yeah, if you notice, next time I buy items, you'll see that it glows less. Uh, I think it's common knowledge, but it's just one of those fun little things. Looks like she's getting, I assume, a bulwark or a pestilence. Probably a bulwark. I mean, probably a pestilence. I don't think it's a bulwark, because bulwark's not buffed yet. Ooh, if minions weren't here, I would blink and kill her. Yeah, no, she's too far back now. Ooh, you live this time, Neath. Even if she has her backflip up, I think I can use my 3-1 and all, and then I'll just get my leap again. Yeah, I'm going to try I'm going to try it. So now she backflips, and then I kill her anyways. Unless I miss, like, ding-dong. Oh, she lives. Now we're in a very bad spot. She's going to ult me. Run. But then again, Emperor's armor too good. I still have 15 seconds of this. Oh, I missed. Yikes. I only have 8 seconds now. Uh, I could either detransform or get one more ability off. And I kind of greedy. I want to get the ability off. Or mine, I missed. <laughs> it's not like she can kill me anyways. Not that easily anyways. And now we have lost all kill potential, but that's okay. We got a, we actually got a surprisingly a good amount of her phoenix, even though I wasn't even hitting it. Oh wow, that hit her. I was just trying to clear the wave. Okay, I'm gonna go spear the mages because I want damage, and honestly, her healing isn't like too big of a deal right now it will be soon so i'm gonna get divine next there's the pestilence now i imagine she's gonna want some pen so she might go a executioner perhaps a brawlers uh that's not too uncommon on neath even though she's a hunter but i imagine she's gonna get some sort of penetration item next we will find out Oh, she's taking all the buffs. That's okay. And that is the case with mannequins. Oh, another thing I wanted to remind you guys about is I am hosting a tournament on August 28th. Uh, if I remember, the information will be in the description. Or you can join my Discord and the information's there as well. But, uh, yeah, basically... If you are, have been following on Twitch for a while or you're subbed on Twitch, you qualify to enter the tournament. Um, although if you don't qualify for either of those things, you can send me a message on Discord and be like, hey, I'd really like to play in the tournament, and I will let you in. But yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. I'll try to post the games on YouTube. It'll be neat. It'll be on the map that they're switching to, though. I'm also doing a fun like Minecraft event on Saturday. Where basically it's a thing I programmed and uh, basically people can like use these cards that I call that are called stream loot cards and I'll give everybody some for free and basically you can do things like spawn a zombie or spawn a creeper and just you know mess with me <laughs> it'll be fun I've done it a few times before and people liked it so I'm doing it again but that'll be this Saturday which this video is going up on Friday, so it'll be tomorrow when you're watching this. It'll just be on my Twitch. 
Anyways, I can probably kill her right now because she just used her escape. Leap right away. Oh, I leaped too early. Ooh, she is so fast with that. We do get the Phoenix. We're shredding it. Shredded and breaded, as I say. Okay, well, now we leave. Normally I'd dive, but we got Phoenix. It's fine. No need to throw. I kind of threw last game. Alright, let's go. Shoguns! Oh, she's got double defense. This changes things. This changes things a lot. Mm. Do I just go the Obsidian? Although in Fafnir, Obsidian, it might proc its passive on Fafnir too, and that would be awful if it does. Uh, ooh, I don't know. The timing for that, picking up that red buff is perfect. You know what? We don't need Divine. I need Penetration. I'm going to go this into a Rod of Tahuti. Oh, but first... No, we can't afford it. Never mind. Yeah, the double defense changes things a lot. Um, like I said, Fafner does better against Squishy Gods. If those Squishy Gods build double defense, it's fine, but it does make it more difficult. We just jump over this, honestly. If my alt was up, she would be dead right now, but it's not, so we'll wait. We just have to bait out her escape one more time. Although if she used it here, it wouldn't really matter. She's too close to her fountain. Oh, she's in a very troublesome spot right now for her. No matter where she goes, she's dead. Oh, unless she beats. Oh, unless she beats. All right, good, good touche. We do. We stay as dragon here because it's for 30 seconds. We'll probably kill her either way. Unless it does. Lol. Shred, 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 shred. Tons of damage, tons of damage. If she backs up, I can just kill Titan and we win the game. Maybe. <gasps> I keep saying these things. I keep predicting these things, and then the niece like, nah, because I'm like, oh, I'm in a, I'm in a place where no matter where she goes, she's dead. And the niece like, nah, pop speeds. And then I'm like, oh, even if she goes back to fight Fountain, I kill Titan and win. Niece like, nah, <laughs> nah, I got my ult. <laughs> Touche, Neath. All right. I mean, either way, the Titans at one HP. If I was a tryhard player, I would just literally blink and use my three but we're not a tryhard player so we'll give her one more fight one more chance to defend i also uh i should have upgraded my signs of time but that's okay all right let's go for uh red buff of course, if I'm at, like, here, and she goes back into her fountain, then I just end, because it's like, all right, if you're going to heal, then I don't really have a choice. So, it depends. I would really like a red buff. She's really holding on to that escape now. Good. That's good for her. Okay. All right, she backs up. We got Phoenix, good stuff. We're in dragon form. I want to give her one more fight, but she's a fountain, come on. Be fountain. <laughs> I miss. I don't want to end on that, man. Come on. That should be it. And yes. Nice. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed this game and, you know, 
I always love playing Fafnir, so honestly, and if like a couple days from now you guys spam Fafnir, I'll probably play Fafnir again because I love playing him. He's one of the more like unique gods, and I think he's less played than a lot of other gods, so it's always fun to play him. GG well played. Here are the stats, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. Adios.